Hi, this is Dr. Koda, quickly here to um, let you know a little bit about snap to grid and why um, it is very important to start any build by snapping uh, your first prim to grid. So over here I've created my, um, my base platform, which is a 10 by 10 platform just to use as a build, you know, a build platform to start on. All right, so here is my first prim. Let's actually start fresh. Let's click create a prim. There we go. Now you can start building just straight away. You know, you can start away manipulating this prim as is, but this prim is not snapped to the grid. That means it isn't on full numbers, not on whole numbers. So what you want to do is just snap it to grid. So you select your um, green arrow first you hold it while holding the left mouse button and then you just drag it to as you can see it will stick to it until I move my mouse it will want to stick to the next um, next numbers then you will want to do the same for the red one snap it to grid so you know, okay, this is on a full number, this is good, this will mathematically be correct. Once you've done that for both the uh, red and the green arrows, you know your first build block is good. To enable snap to grid, if you don't see the snap to grid, if you don't see those numbers up top when you hold your mouse on an arrow, if you don't see those white uh, letters, actually let me make the background black for this because apparently you might not be able to see it very well. This should help. So as you can see, uh, this is clearer. Now you can see I can snap to all of these numbers. To enable that, you do that in your build menu right here where it says snap. Now you see the arrow behind it, if you click it, you get a different option. Um, this will enable me to set how many um, intersections I have to snap to. So I have mine set to half a meter, which is the exact size of a basic prim when we res it. Um, and I have it extend in meters. I have decimal precision set at five, and I have a one angle degree. So that means that every half meter I get, so if I now hold shift and I take the green um, arrow and I go to the next hall, this will link up exactly because this is exactly half a meter. So because I use snap to grid, it is really easy to do this. See, now I have four prims here that I've quickly copied and snapped to the next um, half a meter. So they are exactly lining up. They are exactly lining up in every way because I've snapped the first one to grid and I've used snap to grid. Um, another thing that is handy to know is you have this thingy, these two checkboxes underneath. Now I also often, not often, well yeah, fairly often use this one, snap to subunits. See now, if I snap to grid, I only get the half meter points, but sometimes, um, let's say for instance this would be the base of, let, let me start building, let's say this would be the base of a little house, let's make it uh, a five by five sort of little house, all right? So this is my base prim, Bit flatter there we go just a flat floor so if this is my base prim five by five I can now am I sure it is still snapped yes it is is it also snapped on this angle yes it is okay great so from then on I can now build like I can copy it up and then with control Z snap it back and now I can take this little dot and I can snap it to half a meter but that would be kind of 
thick for a wall, right? I'm going to raise this up, let's say two and a half meters to create a wall. But no one has a wall that is a half a meter thick. So I want to make that smaller. So what I do is I enable this little box, snap to subunits, which you get when you click on this arrow. Snap to subunits, and now look. If I now hold my little green dot, I have all these subunits to snap to. So I can even go as thin as I want to, or as thick as I want to. I like, I like this. So here in the Numbers tab, you can see it is always whole numbers now. So snapping to grid is super handy. Also, um, I can now drag one from here and place it on this side. But you can also just drag it up from here because you now know oh, this was two and a half meters, so just go to two and a half meters. Wasn't it two and a half meters? Oh, it was. Yeah, it was. So, and then you can just snap it all at the same height. This is two and a half meters. And this was set to about this height. See? See how easy it is to build when you snap to grid? It is so important to learn this skill. Everything will line up perfectly. Perfectly. Snap to grid. I'm not very good at explaining this, but yeah, it's it's important to know this.